Um, so what I'm going to be talking about today um, is helping young adults um, make meaningful social relationships and also social opportunities. And I think that this is very relevant as we're talking about the transition. Because as young adults transition, kind of flexibility increases and less structured opportunities for social engagement for the young. And so thinking about how um, to support them, support individuals, how they can support themselves in that. And so what I'm going to be talking about is um, our um, social program that we do offer here, and that is offered um, nationwide um, and internationally. We, um, as Travis said in his introduction, um, it is evidence, we do use an evidence-based program here, it's called the Peers Program. And this program developed out of UCLA, and it developed from a, a teen program. And the need was there for something for young adults as well. And so, in this extension upward, um, it includes skills, and I'll kind of talk a little bit about the curriculum, the things that are relevant as young adults transition into this greater independence. Um, and the evidence base for this peers, the, it focuses, there's a wide range of of social skills, elevator etiquette, what we do when we go to um, purchase something at the store. In this particular uh, social skills program, it focuses on making and keeping friends. So the building friendships and their skills in terms of building those friendships and also handling um, kind of peer rejection and peer conflict. Those are kind of the big focus of, the, of this um, particular program. And the reason for that is there is this um, research that shows that having one or two close friends is really a protective factor when we think of our lives, our independence, our mental health for anyone. And so the importance of developing those friendships, those close friendships, is very important. And sometimes individuals here who are, who need a little bit more support in that. It's not as intuitive, and um, we need a little bit of extra help in that. And so what the Peers Program did is it focused on, um, it focuses on the skills in terms of building friendships and maintaining friendships. Um, and so what, and the other component of the program that is very valuable, um, as Michael said, these social pieces that kind of that glue um, a big piece, too, is the involvement of parents or social coaches. So within the program, we do have parents or someone who is involved in the young adult's life. It could be a family member or a caregiver or a close friend who participates in the program. And the idea is that they participate concurrently with the young adult and serve as their social coach. They're learning the skills right along with them um, and are able to kind of help outside of the group with some of those real life opportunities, right, and some challenges. And so uh, the program structure is it's a 16 week program. It's a 90 minute um, per week. And um, the structure of it is it incorporates some of, you know, we think of learning styles, it incorporates some of the learning styles for individuals who have some challenges socially and who are kind of we see as on the autism spectrum. So we talk about kind of concrete skills. Um, and we start out, we do kind of each lesson is kind of focused on one particular skill. Um, we start with conversation skills, we talk about the back and forth, um, and uh, we highlight, we do use role plays. So it's one thing to kind of talk, um, when you think of Michael's Pyramid, right, to kind of talk and instruct, but also doing these role plays and having the young adults participate in that um, put, puts them in a different um, position of learning. And so what we do is we do the role plays and show what not to do, right? What we wouldn't want to do. And then we show them, you know, and then one of the pieces to that is we also do perspective taking. So we might say, show me, watch this and tell me what I'm doing wrong, right? And afterwards, and the young adults usually find this quite um, fun because they can see what's wrong right away and, and they have fun identifying that. And then we use the perspective taking. So what do you think that is usually an interaction between two people? And we say, well, what was that like for Sue? Um, how, what do you think Sue thought of Jan? Do you think she want to talk to her again? Right? And then we do a different role play that shows some of the skills that are um, ecologically valid in terms of social interaction and these conversation skills. And we do those same perspective taking questions to really think about not just the skill, but what is the social interaction? What is kind of the perspective of those people in those interactions? Um, and then we um, go around and we do kind of a behavioral rehearsal. So we take those skills. And the adults get an opportunity to practice, 
and they get feedback from the group leaders and social coaches in the group. And then the social coaches, the parents or caregivers come in and we kind of talk about the different skills, and then they get homework for the week. So the two kind of unique pieces of this program are the social coaches, the caregivers or parent support, and then also the homework piece. Because out, out in, outside of the group is where the real progress is happening and where the real practice is. And so that's a big piece of, of this particular structure of the group. Um, and so the young adults will come back and they will um, talk about the homework prep over the week. Um, and that's where we get to individualize the treatment a little bit. And then we go on to the next skill. And so the skills um, that we do cover, we talk about conversation skills, that back and forth. We talk about trading information. And um, it's kind of our buzzword for kind of thinking of all those skills that encapsulate a back and forth reciprocal conversation. We talk about what is a friend, right? And talk about kind of um, the different types of friendship. That's an important thing to differentiate too, in terms of acquaintances, close friends, um, and then best friends. And what are the qualities associated with those types of friends? Um, we talk about um, get-togethers, so how do you um, contact someone? We talk about electronic communication, which is a big piece for young adults in terms of navigating their social world. Social media is a huge piece, right? So thinking about those um, avenues of communication and socialization, and then also just thinking about texting and Snapchat and Instagram and kind of the social rules behind that. Um, and technology is you know, increasing at such a speed that kind of knowing what the social rules around that is really important. Um, for example, we talk about the two-message rule, right? If you've called someone and they haven't called you back, and you call someone again and they haven't called you back, then it's on their plate, right? You don't call them again. And if you call and you don't leave a message, does it still count? Yep, because they can see that you called, right? So kind of specifying some of those. Um, so we talk about electronic communication, we talk about get-togethers, what do you do, how do you um, ask someone out on the get-together, um, what do you do, how do you plan for it, what do you do on the get-together or afterwards. Um, and one of the things we talk about a lot in terms of the trading information and conversation is finding those common interests. And that's a big skill set for our young adults in terms of moving forward from the program, knowing what their interests are and figuring out how they might find others with that same interest. That's a big source of friendship. If they know that they're very into, uh, let's say, cosplay, for example, right? And they, you know, finding meetup groups or finding groups that do cosplay so that they can have those kind of similar um, interests with those individuals. If they're interested in cosplay but they go to, you know, a, um, a comedy club and they're not so interested, they might be able to talk and use some of those social skills, but they might not find individuals who really have a similar interest with them. And we're really looking for some of those close friendships to build. Um, and so we talk about get-togethers, we talk about um, kind of indirect and direct um, teasing and bullying, so um, verbal teasing, um, bullying, rumors and gossip, which relates to the workplace as well as um, vocational programs or colleges um, or academic settings that some of our young adults are in. Um, we do spend four of our sessions on dating, which is uh, something that a lot of our young adults are interested in. It's very useful. I think a lot of our group leaders and social coaches wish they had something in terms of such a direct instruction on how to date. Um, we talk about how to let someone know you like them, um, which is we do very directly outline how to flirt with someone, and they practice it, and so it's, 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 a, it's a very fun. Um, we talk about how to uh, ask someone out on a date, what do you do before, during, and after. And we also talk about dating safety um, and how to stay safe on a date, um, especially considering that it's a very normative thing to do online dating, right? And so we cover that in our group. We talk about how to stay safe when doing that. Um, and we talk about handling disagreements and arguments, because that's a, a, a big relevant thing that comes up with family members, with friends, and with, um, with uh, co-workers. And so understanding how to navigate that is a very important skill as well. So that's kind of our program in terms of really thinking about how to support our young adults socially. And usually what's nice is you see this progression throughout the group of kind of building on some of the more um, foundational social skills and kind of getting into more of the intricacies in terms of some of the indirect direct bullying and rumors and gossip and disagreements, which is very relevant in, 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 in terms of our young adults. Thank you.